Meghan and Harry plan to return as part-time royals, offer claims. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex want to return to the royal family to work part-time when Prince Charles takes the throne, a royal author has claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could return to work as part-time royals when Prince Charles takes over the throne, according to an author. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior members of the royal family in 2020 and overhauled their lives to start afresh in sunny California, where they live with children Archie, 2, and baby Lilibet. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, have been fairly successful in making their own way through their philanthropic work with the Archiel Foundation as well as their multi-million pound deals with streaming giants like Netflix and Spotify. While they appear to have moved on from their time working for the monarch, one royal author believes the pair could return to their duties when Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's throne is taken over by Harry's father Charles, 73. Speaking to the Today for Daily podcast, Tom Quinn said, One interesting thing an insider told me is that both Meghan and Harry believe that when the elder royals die, in other words, Elizabeth, 95, they may well be able when Charles is king, be able to come back and be the part-time royals that they really wanted to be. So that they would be six months, as, working royals in six months in the States or wherever doing their own thing. He continued, that was something that Queen Elizabeth absolutely said couldn't happen, but I think Meghan and Harry are hoping that Charles, Harry's father after all, will be more of a modernizer and will say to them, okay, if you want to be part-time royals, that's fine. I don't think Harry and Meghan really want to spend their whole time in the States and not be part of the royal family, they just don't want to do it all the time. Author Tom, who wrote Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, went on to explain that fears surrounding what Harry might write about the royal family in his upcoming memoir are unfounded. The author claimed Harry has no intention of damaging the royal institution and instead is simply looking for his role within the firm. I don't think Harry does want to destroy the royal family. I think he just really does want to find a role, Tom said. He continued, he doesn't really have a role in the royal family because he's the spare rather than the heir, but there's still lots of hospitals to open, meetings to go to, charities to support. He could have had that limited role, but in California what can he do? So I think really rather than damage the royal family I think he's just madly in love with Meghan and wants to make her happy. Princess Kate beamed at any event that was expected to be in the spotlight by Meghan with a message containing a profound meaning. On March 1st, Duchess Kate celebrated St. David's Day with a visit to Wales. At her first job site, Pant Goat Farm near Abergavenny, the mother of three opted to wear a Sealand khaki coat and red scarf. In addition, the Duchess also wore black jeans and familiar boots. Meanwhile, Prince William wears navy blue pants, a jacket that matches his wife's shirt and combines a green sweater with a light blue shirt underneath. Both Kate and William pinned daffodils to their bodices, in keeping with the tradition of St. David's Day in Wales. According to British media, the royal couple are visiting Wales to learn about the importance of agriculture to people in the countryside and how community organizations are supporting young people, while honoring the history of the region. This area. Princess Kate makes a strong impression when choosing a gentle, seductive makeup style and always has a bright smile on her lips. Next, the royal couple visited the Abergavenny market, 